I thought for a while about what I wanted to say to you today, to show you how much I love you. What I truly believe shows our love is our relationship and over seven years of commitment to each other. I look back on it and remember lots of good memories, many life changes, and best of all, love. You are my greatest dream. When I think about us, I think about those kids in high school that we used to be. I remember even back then that this is what I wanted for the rest of my life. I decided back then to fight for us always, and I promise to always fight for us as we grow old together. Back in high school, we were friends, best friends. Our friendship has grown, it's changed, and become friendship, love, and partnership. Each other's successes and failures are our successes and failures to celebrate and to learn from. We're in this adventure together every step of the way. It's this partnership that I cherish above all else. It's the feeling of peace I get every time I look in your eyes, knowing that we have each other forever. In the greatest stress, remembering this fact puts my mind at ease. I know it won't always be easy, it always, hasn't always been, but I promise to always choose you despite what we face. I choose you and this life, and will do whatever it takes to protect this loving partnership. Paul Allen, I thank you for choosing me, for choosing us. I love you with everything that I am, and to be here, becoming your wife, is my greatest dream coming true. My favorite author, uh, Victor Frankl, he always said that to truly love someone, you needed to love who they were, who they are, and who they will be. And, you know, Kaylin and Paul have the blessing of knowing that they have that love. You know, they have loved each other for who they were, who they are now, and I've seen them make plans for the future of where they will be. And I've seen them stand by each other for many years, seven years. This is not just any seven years, this is the seven years that began in high school. Where I wasn't sure if high school really is your high school sweetheart, you're gonna end up with him. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> but they didn't just end up together, they thrived together. They literally proven that they could mature and grow side by side and make themselves into better people together. Having our relationship start so early and grow and change with our lives made me realize a long time ago that you are the one for me, the love of my life. It hasn't always been easy, but our dedication to open communication is something I deeply cherish and believe is the rock that has and will continue to outlast any storm. Our seven years together have been the best I could ask for. It makes me excited for the ever we have together now. During that time, I will always put you first in every decision and always love you like the young teenagers we were when we first met. I'm lucky to say that I have a beautiful partner and best friend that I get to enjoy the rest of my life with. And today, I'm officially yours. I love you, Caitlin. So in these rings is, is the symbol of your unity in which your lives are now joined in one of your circle. So wherever you go, you will always return home to one another and to to now pronounce you husband and wife, and you may kiss your beautiful bride. So Caitlin and I worked together in a single in Arizona State, we've tired times we were there. 
And we made it a point to meet up, I'd say, once every week or so to talk about different things that were going on. I was always ecstatic to hear about whatever project Caitlin was working on, be it humanitarian, be it have something to do with your university. And more importantly, I got to hear about how her relationship with Paul was developing and growing. And they were building this bond that you could tell was going to last forever. So when I found out they were getting married, I was ecstatic, but not surprised. But beyond that, I was thankful. Brett honored to be standing here today, honored to have gotten to stand with all these different people up there at the ceremony. You might not have noticed me, it'd be hard to take your eyes off the stunning couple. I was a little bit stage left. And I stood up there with some groomsmen, and all of us have a few things in common. The first thing that we have in common is that we love Paul like a brother. And we're so excited for him, and happy for him, and proud of him. And we know that he's made the best choice he ever could make. But beyond that, we all have something else in common, and that is that we're all bachelors. <laughs> all of us are here. Some of us are very stages of bachelorhood. I mean, some of you over there might have a front ticket on that, but we're all very single. And so what we do have is a wonderful example to strive for. With Paul and Caitlin, for all of us, we have a relationship to emulate, not only when it comes to support and partnership, and lifting and supporting your partner up, but beyond that, absolute, true love. My mother, my kind, beautiful mother, she always said, look, it's a fallacy. Relationships are not 50-50. It's not going to be 50-50 all of the time. Relationships are more 70-30. Sometimes you're going to be 70, sometimes you're going to be 30. The truth is, in a relationship, in a good relationship, somebody else is always holding up a little bit more of the ship. You know, somebody else is holding up a little bit more than the other person. And I have to say that I've truly seen Paul, and granted, they've seen each other through so many different phases in life. I've seen Paul and Caitlin hold up the ship for the other person. Be strong for the other person. When Paul was having a hard time, Caitlin's been strong. And when Caitlin's had a hard time, Paul has always been there. I feel very lucky about that. I feel very lucky about that. Honestly, my greatest emotion I have um, about the entire wedding is a sense of relief. A sense of relief that this little girl that I love has grown up into an amazing human being is with another amazing human being. Another amazing human being that I know will support her forever. We're very lucky. And I have to say, there's nothing that can make me more happy in this entire world to see this amazing couple take another step in their relationship into the world to grow a little bit more. And I wanted to take a moment to talk about how we influence each other. And I can't look at Paul's background as accurately or carefully as I can with Caitlin. But Caitlin's granddad sitting over here, Henry, <laughs> who is very. <laughs> who is very influential in their lives and made a difference. And I know Paul's grandparents were very influential. And how we touch them, we never know until they do something like this. And we see that. And we appreciate that along the way people touch them in their lives. Whether it's a sister, or a sister's friend, or friend, or neighbors, or coaches. It's what we do when we have an honest communication with people is they grow and we grow. And I have an opportunity all of a sudden for my life to grow and change and expand. We have a whole new tree called Fitz Allen. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody that's here that touched and influenced the lives of Paul and Caitlin, even though you may not know it, you did. And they could probably count something you may not remember. And as I get older, there's a lot of things I'm not remembering. Um, but we touched those lives. So thank you to the friends, to the family, and the casual acquaintance that pass something on to these two that will change their lives, giving something to look back on and know 
actual works for other people.